Well, hello. I'm the uh, shader developer for Depth3D, and I am going to make a small, quick tutorial on how to use Depth3D, Reshade, and DG Voodoo for an older DirectX 8 game. All right. So first, we're going to need to download Reshade, the newest version. We get this from the website reshade.me. Is at the uh, bottom of the page. The latest one out is 3.0.3. We're also going to need to download DG Voodoo to get it from DG or DEGE dot freeweb dot HU. Click on downloads for the latest version, and you want to download this one with dynamic resolution. You also want to download the shader Dev3D. You get it from this web forum. I'll put links under or in the description. You need to go to the GitHub. I already had it open, so you want to click on clone or download. Click on download zip. All right, first thing you need to do is unzip this folder, unzip this folder. I'm just going to check something really quick. Just making sure if I have the newest version uploaded and I have forgotten to do that. The reason why I'm checking is because I have made some changes to this code meant for head mounted displays. Okay, things seem to be fine. I guess I'll have to check that later. All right, let's get back to uh, this. All right, since we have a uh, DG Voodoo unzip, we can put that to your own folder wherever you want to store it. Let's uh, put this over here. I'm just replacing the files, it's, it's the same. All right, now the game that we're talking about is Nosferatu. It's an older DirectX 8 game. We are going to uh, basically convert DirectX 8 to DirectX what, it's 11. I believe it's 11 or 10, one of those. Copy this over to the uh, main folder where Nosferatu is. You can get to the folder easily in Steam by going to uh, Properties and then clicking on Local Files and Browse Local Files, and it'll take you directly to that folder. Uh, for other games, it's, it's similar. All right. Now, once you copy these MS files from Microsoft DirectX, 8 to 10 or 11, I, I keep forgetting. You're also going to want to uh, open up DG Voodoo for setup. You want to add the folder and you want to make sure it points to the same folder you have open here. Click on that, click select folder. It should show up here. Since we're uh, for this game in particular, I notice if you click on or disable mouse capture, it helps. Also, you need to go direct decks. Want to uh, increase the VRAM? 
resolution we want to uh, use your well your native resolution for me it'll be 3840 by 2160. Uh, in this case we want to turn off MSAA. I believe you can also use fast memory access for this game. We want to have DG Voodoo watermark enabled so we can see if it's actually working in game. So let's apply this. We should create a config file. Hit OK. So these are the files needed for DG Voodoo. Now let's test the game. All right, there it is. You see the DG Voodoo watermark. If the uh, Steam thing goes away, shoot. Okay, it's there. Let's play a new game really quick. See if it's working properly. Okay, let's skip all that. <gasps> All right, it seems to be running. All right, that works. So let's go there. Now we're gonna inject the uh, reshade. So we want to go to the reshade uh, app. Actually, let's uh, go and move this first. I already had one downloaded. For because I was testing it, but here's my archive. So let's uh, open this. Click on select game. Make sure you find the folder. Mine's already there because I already did this before. Click on the exe. Click open. This will give you a warning about DirectX 8, how you have to download DirectX 8, uh, like pass through, or I'm not sure what it is, or additional wrapper it says. Click OK. Click on not DirectX 8.9 because in this case we have DG Boot installed. So we're going to click on DirectX 10 Plus. Uh, you can download this. If you download this, it'll insert a folder here with reshades other shaders. They're really unique and nice shaders to have, depends on the type of game. And with Dev 3D, since you do not have access to, most of the time do not have access to anti aliasing, you may want to download. A shader that adds anti aliasing like SMAA or some other anti aliasing that you like from Reshade's uh, shader list. There's also uh, other things that can help improve uh, the depth in game, like for instance the um, MXAO or yeah, any AO shader will add shadows and darkened areas in the game that will, in corners that will. Give you a better a better depth perception in the game. There's more cues to uh, depth than just uh, separation. All right, so we want no in this case just to make it simple. It succeeded. That's the message we want. You can close that now. I should in place a uh, the other wrapper in here. So basically, we have one wrapper going to another wrapper for the game. So now we want to also use Dev3D. This is unzipped. So we go to shaders. There's also the readme here that we want to see for game settings. Oh, it doesn't show up very well on this. I guess it looks better when you actually go to the, uh, the actual website. but. You want to read this if you have a certain game you want to uh, have certain settings for. There's also a README or just basic game information, not that much. And then we have the uh, setup of information that you have in the, in the master uh, shader. But in this case, we are going to go to shaders. Usually you want to use Super Depth 3D, which is the first one. You copy this and place it into the uh, into folder, but in this case, since I'm still working on 1.9.0, we'll use that. It's in the experimental folder. You have other options for, for these shaders, which I don't, you know, don't support these, but you can use these if you want. Also, legacy, if you want to use some of the previous uh, version of the shaders, if they worked in that one or not. There's also settings for the old shader. Wow. 
Well, I don't know what's going on there. That's my system. I guess I have to open it up in Notepad plus plus. Yeah, there you go. All right. You can pick one of these if you want, but for us, we are going to uh, copy the uh, experimental one. We we'll also have one for anaglyph, uh, or however you say it. 3D in here. This this gives you options to uh, different types of 3D glasses that are like the red and blue, green and magenta type glasses. And we also have this one for HMDs. Right, we're not gonna work with these right now. So we're gonna use this one. We're gonna put this into the folder, paste it in. Now since we have all these shader injectors in, we'll click play. All right, I should pop up with the uh, Shift F2. Check if that works, click continue. 